Hi, this is Artifacts Mars. We're going to talk about weather. What you're seeing here is the propaganda wing of the New York Communist Party. I don't get too much into politics. I wanted to make the case here that essentially these people are saying it's global warming, global warming. They tend to be sadists. No, what do I mean by a sadist? Well, the term derives from a man named Marquis de Sade back in the 1800s who got sexual jollies by torturing women. Uh, but the thing is, uh, a sadist in a modern term can mean a lot of different things. In this case, we're not talking about sexual jollies. But we're talking about people who drive the pleasure from torment, tormenting others, seeing others in pain, and so forth. Now, the article is about uh, this February, which has been the nastiest February I've ever seen. Rochester's coldest month ever. I'm saying the only one that can even rival it was 1934. Now, we've been suffering, and none of the politicians was wanting to help us. I wonder why. The uh, salt supplies, from what I understand, are really low, and... They could have at least called out National Guard to help with that, and to help with snow removal, and get heating supplies, help people out, help out the homeless. They didn't do nothing. Now, why do you think that is? Well, this is where the sadism comes in. Here they explain the reason for the blasted cold. The boil like wind and jet stream has ushered Arctic air into the Great Lakes region and northeast while long unusual winter warmth the filter in the western part of the country is expected to remain in place for the foreseeable future. Which means we're screwed, we're not gonna even have a spring. But here's the next um Here's the next uh, one. There's a school of thought given voice this winter that warming in the Arctic caused by the buildup of greenhouse gases has slowed the jet stream and thus given it the freedom to wander. This suggests gloomily that polar invasions of the ilk we've endured this month could become more common. In other words, what they're doing is they're blaming you. There's an old uh, platitude that's rubbing salt in the wounds. This is horse dung. This is why I call them the uh, communist uh, propaganda wing of the communist party is because of stuff like this. The point is... Uh, they're blaming us for our own misery. So they're saying, okay, you caused it, so screw you. Well, no, I didn't cause it. Nature caused it. This is what I mean. These people are sadistic. You see, uh, the chief sadist, Barack Obama, flying around the world saying, oh, global warming, we gotta take away the cars and houses, blah, 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 blah. At the same time, we're suffering. These are sadists. I really believe that they get, they get their pleasure from this type of thing. And I think they love, as like I said, rubbing salt in the wounds. I absolutely believe they enjoy it. He goes on... Goes on talk about uh, the records and all that. But 
you know, these global warming people, they are essentially sadists. They love to watch people suffer. They'd love to take your homes away, your cars away. These are some sick, sick people. I mean, they're not, we're not talking about watching stuff on YouTube and that's where they get their jollies. They love to see people suffer for real. They won't break out the National Guard to help us or anything like that. Mercury has been above freezing for a grand total of just six hours in February, and there's not been one day with enough sunshine to be classified as clear, adding to the misery. Remember the misery index that we saw obligingly highlighted this February has been copious amounts of snow. To date, 44.8 inches have been recorded by official monitors in Greater Rochester International Airport. Forecast calls for an inch or less additional snowfall before Sunday when March begins. Basically, these people are sadists. I mean, they sit, think about, think about Kumo and uh, his Albany mansion, safe and secure from the snow and the vicious cold. He don't care. None of these sons of bitches care how much people are suffering in this country. Now, even this area. We've had enough. It's gotten to the point where even people in this area are saying that that's enough enough. Even we can take only so much, even though we're pretty tough. It's you know, kinda of breaking this area right on down. Point, but you know they're blaming us. They're blaming us for our own misery. While they sit in their ivory towers and uh, laugh at us, that's what this amounts to. They sit in their ivory towers, laugh at us, blame us for our own misery. And none of them wants to give any help to the people. These are sadists. I think this is how they get their jollies. We're not talking sexual jollies, but there's different types of sadism. You know, sadism is where you get your pleasure from watching others suffer. And people like Kumo and Obama, New York legislature. It's, most of them are sad, sadistic. These are some sick, sick people. There is no global warming. It's a bunch of horse feathers. See, I figured when I first saw this uh, article, I said something isn't right because they're actually admitting that February was cold. One of the co coldest ever months. But when you step in a cow chip, you have to expect it to stink. So as I read the article, there it is. They're blaming us for it. These are some sick, sick people. There is no global warming. These are... They're crazy, all right? They're just plain crazy. Now, there is climate change. That's a different story. Climate change... It's natural, it's going to happen, there's nothing we can do about it. Climate change and global warming are two different things. Because climate change, you have to expect it's going to happen. It's happened throughout history. Nothing we can do to change it. That's about that. Remember when you hear global warming out of these people, these are sadists. 
They are despicable, lousing sadists. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. And that's the way it is. I'm Artifacts Mars. Uh, keep warm. Vicious winter, no spring. Oh my god. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for listening.